Okay, this is the blood cell model. So when we talked about blood, we said that whole blood is the plasma, that's the watery part of the blood, and then all of the blood cells. So whole blood is the plasma plus all of the blood cells. And all of the blood cells together are called the formed elements. So these blood cells are your red blood cells. Then your white blood cells have nucleus. So all of these are white blood cells because each one of them has a nucleus. So red blood cells, white blood cells. Then these little bitty teeny tiny blue cells, these little teeny tiny blue cells are your platelets. So all those are platelets. So your red blood cells plus your white blood cells plus the platelets are called your formed elements. So your formed elements are all the cells found within the blood. If we point out here to the middle of nowhere, so we're pointing in here where the yellow background is, and we say, what is this matrix? This matrix is that plasma, that liquidy portion of the blood. Okay. Of the white blood cells, you have two distinct groups. You have your agranular white blood cells and your granulocytic white blood cells. So agranulocytic and granulocytic. The two agranulocytic white blood cells are your monocytes. So these two here are monocytes and this one up here is a monocyte. Your monocytes are the largest white blood cells and their nucleus looks like a kidney bean or C shaped. So here you can see right here is kind of kidney bean shaped and these two are C shaped. So that would be a monocyte. Your smallest white blood cell, also in the agranulocytic group, is gonna be your lymphocyte. Your lymphocyte are the smallest white blood cells and the nucleus takes up almost the entire cell. So both of these would be a lymphocyte. Your lymphocytes and your monocytes, these are monocytes, would make up the group called your agranulocytic cells. The other group is granulocytic cells. So these have granules in the cytoplasm that will stain. So you have the neutrophils, the eosinophils, and the basophils. So the neutrophils, the neutrophils have neutral staining background or neutral staining granules in the background or in the cytoplasm. So they stain a pale, pale pink in the cytoplasm. So here's a neutrophil. This one is a neutrophil. This one down here is a neutrophil, a neutrophil, and a neutrophil. Okay, pale pink in the background. They also tend to have lobular nuclei. So you see this nuclei, it looks like one lobe, two lobe, three lobe, four lobe, five lobes of that nuclei. You can see this one has one, two, three lobes, okay? The eosinophil, the eosinophil has an acidic staining granule in the background and so its granules are going to stain a hot pink to an orange. So this is an eosinophil and this one down here is an eosinophil as well as this one over here. So this one, this one, and this one are eosinophils and they have a lobed nucleus as well. The last granulocytic cell is going to be your basophil. Your basophil has a basic staining granule, so you're gonna see the granules are a blue-black to a purple. Um, so this is your basophil here. So again, there are two big categories of white blood cells. You have your agranulocytic white blood cells and your granulocytic white blood cells. Your agranulocytic white blood cells are gonna include your monocytes and your lymphocytes. Your granulocytic cells, our granulocytic category, is going to include your neutrophils, your eosinophils, and your basophils. Remember, your formed elements are going to include all of your cells. So the platelets plus the red blood cells plus the white blood cells would be formed elements. And then out here is the liquid matrix called plasma. So anywhere in here where there's not a cell, that liquid matrix is going to be plasma.